What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and the Microsoft 365 connector, and we're gonna look at the action which is get contacts v2. So unlike get contact where you just return a single contact, get contacts allows us to list all the contacts in a given folder. So let's take a look at it. So in Power Automate here, I have a trigger, but I'm just going to run from a previously run flow. There's no trigger specifically around creating contacts or modifying contacts. So this is just a way for me to just trigger this flow and show you the action. So I'm going to click on New Step. Then I'm going to expand this, or you could search in the search bar. And we're going to go to the Office 365 Outlook Connector. Um, I call this the Microsoft 365 Outlook Connector because a few weeks ago when I was making videos, they changed the name from Office 365 to Microsoft 365. Now it's back to Office 365 again, so not really too sure what it's called. I'm going to call it Microsoft 365 Connector for now. So I'll scroll down until I find the action which is Get Contacts V2. So if I select this, the only required parameter I have here is the folder ID. So this is like the folder that we want to look in. So I only have a single folder inside of here at the moment in my, in my Outlook, which is my contacts folder. You can have multiple folders to say, you know, this is folders of people that I work with, people that um, maybe I do business with, people that um, I sell things to, people inside a certain company. You could have all these folders, all these different contacts, and then you could use Power Automate to automate some process around it. So I can click on contacts there. I can also click show advanced options. These are very similar options to what we've seen in other triggers in the uh, other actions in the Office 365 or Microsoft 365 connector. So we have filter queries. So we can use an OData style filter or an OData filter to, um, to restrict the number of entries that we're, we're returning back, it says. So this could be things like, you know, name equals a certain name or, you know, um, anything after or before a certain date. We can kind of use an OData query here to filter that information. The order by, again, we can use an OData style query to say we want to order query by, you know, alphabetically, you know, newest, oldest sort of thing uh, by a certain field on that uh, on that uh, record. Top count is the number of records you can return back. So if you may have thousands of records uh, or thousands of contacts, you may not want to uh, return a thousand. Maybe you just want to do this for testing, so you do this for 10, or maybe you'll only ever need the top 25, you won't ever need any more than that you can specify how many you get back with the top count here. So the default is all, so it's just trying to pull back everything, but we can specify if we just want a smaller number. And skip count allows you to um, skip the, the first however many records and then just return everything after that, or the, the top count after that. So you could skip, say, the first five records because they're not useful, and then just return the last you know 100 or last 10 sort of thing if you specify that in the top count. But I'm not going to do any of those things. Uh, I just want to let you know what those are there for and what you can use them for. Uh, but what we're just going to do is we're going to test this out. So we'll hit test. And we'll just run from a previous run. Click save and test. And then that will go off and that will uh, that will go pull out the data. So we can see this. Um, this is the output that we get from the get contact. So if I just scroll down a little bit, uh, we can see some details here. So the first one we have here is a person called Wally West. Um, we can keep on scrolling, and then the next person is uh, is uh, Frank C or Frank Castle. Uh, so we see the display name there is different from the given name and things like that. We can keep on scrolling. We got things like the email address, uh, the email address. We've got Jeff Johns in here. You know, we've got all this data that we can kind of pull back and uh, and use. So. So this is what get contacts does. So you could um, you know, list your contacts out, maybe list them out for a specific folder. You could then uh, put that into a, an email to say, hey, you know, I've been working with you guys for five years. Um, I'm leaving the business or you know, there's, there's an event that's happening and we can maybe automate an email to go out to those people. So collect all their email addresses together and, and compose them into one, one string and then send an email out to say, hey, you know, this thing's going on. Do you want to be know? Do you want to know about it? You're in my sort of like you know most commonly used or most contacted list, um, you know, and you can do these sorts of things in here. I'd probably suggest you do that sort of thing in a proper marketing system if you don't like you know mass emailing people out about things. But Power Automate gives you another way to do these sorts of things, which is what it's all about. It's all about automating and, and empowering you, the user, 
to be able to do things. And that's why I make these videos as well. Power Automate is a technology that is designed for everyone to automate things and not just developers, and not just people with like, you know, 10 years past experience in something. Power Automate is all about empowering everyone because automation should be something that everyone can do. Steven Siciliano. So there you have it. That is the get contact action. Um, so what do you guys think about it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Is there anything you change? What do you use it for? Let me know in the comments down below or feel free to check with me on Twitter or LinkedIn. All my details are at the end of this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could drop a like on it or maybe share it with a friend, that would really uh, help me grow this channel. If you've not already hit the subscribe button, uh, I've just hit a thousand subscribers. So thank you all for that. And I will see you next time.